Here's a preview of the December 2013 edition of Sound on Sound, the world's best recording technology magazine. Available in newsagents, on our website at soundonsound.com, or by downloading the Sound on Sound app. Available for iPad, Kindle Fire, and selected Android tablets. In this month's cover feature, we look at the pre-mix, the process of cleaning up your tracks and fixing any errors before you start mixing. Professional mix engineers will often only work on sessions that have been prepared in this way, so they can focus on being creative and making good decisions while their ears are fresh. With our 10 steps towards a perfect pre-mix, you too can work fast and uninterrupted instead of being distracted by problem solving. We review the IS Technology Radar 6 multi-track recorder and ADA2 converter. The radar system, launched in 1994, was the world's first 24-track hard disk digital audio recorder and quickly became a mainstay of professional studios. We ask whether the radar system is still relevant in today's world of software recording. Coincidentally, the Korg Wave Drum, also originally launched in 94, is back as well. The latest version, the Global Edition, boasts a makeover both inside and out. With much faster patch loading times and many more presets and user programs than ever before, could this be the best wave drum yet? The Loop Trotter Saturamp is a 500 series preamp and saturation processor that's designed to let you control the amount of harmonic distortion added to any source. With digital control, discrete electronics, as well as mic, line and instrument inputs, can this preamp provide all the colour you're looking for? Aphex's project channel is a mono-channel strip with a Class A preamp and an optical compressor. Interestingly, it employs Aphex's signature Big Bottom and Oral Exciter processors instead of more traditional EQ. We test how flexible the project channel is and whether it lives up to its billing as the essential channel strip. Bjork's live show is equally bizarre as it is beautiful, and it takes a team of dedicated musicians, technicians, programmers and designers to make it happen. We go behind the scenes with Matt Robertson, Bjork's musical director, and find out about the technology and unusual instruments that are employed to bring the Biophilia tour to life. Advanced Audio take Chinese microphones and upgrade them by hand in Canada with selected premium components. Their aim is to create vintage German tone at a fraction of the price, but have they succeeded? Newmark's wallet-friendly Orbit wireless MIDI controller may be aimed at DJs, but how much potential does it have as an unconventional controller for the studio? All is revealed in this month's issue. Sony's Audio Master Suite includes new versions of SoundForge and the innovative Spectral Air's Spectral Editing software. Between them, they make it possible to edit recorded audio in all sorts of new and exciting ways. Find out more in our in-depth review. We also review the latest instrument from Sonic Couture. Geosonics collects nature recordings from locations as far-flung as the North Pole and the Kalahari Desert, all captured by Chris Watson, sound recordist to David Attenborough. These are then combined with pads and soundscapes from top sound designers to create a sense of place like no other. You can read about this and much more in the December 2013 edition of Sound on Sound, the world's best recording technology magazine. Available in newsagents, on our website at soundonsound.com, or by downloading the Sound on Sound app, available for iPad, Kindle Fire, and selected Android tablets. Thanks for watching.